Good morning, everybody, and welcome to the vlog. I just woke up. I took Marble out to go potty, and he just walked back into the house. This week has been quite busy for me, and hi, Marble. <laughs> what you doing? Oh, hey. Ah! Ooh. Okay. Marble, you don't potty in the house. Come on, come back out here, come on. Marble has been having a couple of accidents lately, but at least it wasn't on my precious rug. Um, I don't know what's gone into him, you guys. He's been like peeing inside the house and I'm trying really hard to make sure that he doesn't, but I mean, I guess he's a puppy and it's, it's inevitable he's gonna have accidents. Today I thought I would vlog the day because I'm trying to source some vintage pieces for me and my mom. Now, I stumbled upon a post last night of a pair of black Italian marble pedestals, okay? And I'm so obsessed with the one I have here, the one over there in my hallway, that I feel like I need another one for my dining area. <laughs> and then maybe I'll give um, one to my mom, because I don't think I need two. I'm also trying to source a vintage Italian travertine dining table for her because my mom's dining is very traditional and I feel like she needs a little update and this travertine table that I found is gorgeous. It is stunning. Like it's a very almost dark mocha colored travertine so I think it'll match her home very well. Her floors are like it's kind of like that cherry wood, so she can't have anything too light, you know? The only problem is this table is in Arizona, but it's really cheap. It's like 700, and I think it's like an 86 inch width, so a really, really good size. I feel like tables like that on like the vintage resale markets are around like 1500 or even more. It's, it's a beautiful, classic 1970s Italian travertine table. Anyway. We're gonna vlog throughout the day. I might go check out some antique stores. You know how I do now. I am addicted to the antique stores. I'm just finding all of these gorgeous finds, beautiful deals. He's doing this thing where he wants to chew on my expensive shoes and no, no, no. We are not doing that. Go chew your toy right here. Right here, right there. Okay, good boy, good boy. Oh my gosh, okay, so a tip for getting aesthetically pleasing puppy toys go to the baby section, like a human baby section, and they have like beautiful toys. The quality is so much nicer than the stuff you would get at Petco, so, and they're super neutral. I was having the hardest time trying to find beautiful, neutral, aesthetic toys for Marble, and the PetSmarts and Petcos, they're just like, ugh. The toys in there are just so ugly, they're poorly made, and so I was in Albertsons one night and Andrew and I like walked by like the baby section, you know, and they had the cutest neutral toys. They're so soft, they make the little rattling sound which Marble enjoys, and I love it. I got three of them, they're so neutral. Oh, he left. Um, one of them was this little teddy bear. It kind of matches like the teddy bear um, spot that he has on his back. Anyway, let's go do some home decor and home decor shopping. Had more of your smile. What if the wind could spread your love? What if your sweetness could reach everyone? There'd be no wars. Mm -hmm. Maybe the birds will sing about your heart. Okay, you guys, so. Ah. <laughs> Don't fall, Marvel. You are so silly. We had a long week because we were prepping for our updated house tour, which is already up on my channel. So if you missed it, make sure you go ahead and check it out. I take you through the main living spaces, the living room, kitchen, dining. Don't bite my fragments pillows. Yes, I'm talking to you. Come here. Um, and the master bedroom as well. How can anyone like stay mad at a face like this? I mean, Look how cute Marble is, Oh, I know, oh my goodness, oh, sleepy boy, sleepy boy. Okay, all right, all right, 
Okay, let me check my phone because I... Hey Siri? Huh? There she is. Does anyone else do that? Like, have to use Siri to find their phones? Because girl, I am constantly losing my... Hey! Oh, I also want to share because I feel like a lot of you here on YouTube don't really follow me on Instagram. I'm constantly sharing like the best sales, the best deals on um, any home decor item. So yesterday I shared the Architectural Digest book. It was on sale for $49 compared to $100. And of course you guys sell it out. A few days ago it was the Tom Ford book and the Louis Vuitton book. So make sure you head on over to Instagram and follow me, which is at Arvin Olano. And you get more of like a behind the scenes look. You get content every day, like a daily dose of Arvin and Barbel. Also, if you've been wondering, wow, lots of like housekeeping announcements today. If you've been wondering, Ginger is here. Ginger's alive. She's in our bedroom. It's just that Marble needs a lot of attention. So I feel like anytime I'm filming, I'm filming Marble. But don't worry, Ginger is back there sleeping in her favorite spot, which is the bedroom. Okay, let's check on these pedestals. She hasn't responded yet, so we're gonna have to see if I can go pick it up today because it's such a good price for a set of two Italian marble pedestals. Okay, as I was talking to the camera, Marble peed on the leather couch. What do you have to say for yourself? You're a bad boy. <laughs> ah! Oh my god! <laughs> Stop it! Ouch! Ouch, you guys! I need help! Send help! Oh my god! <gasps> uh, okay, so the seller just got back to me and she said there's already a buyer pending for the marble pedestals, but earlier when I messaged her, she said it was available. Girl. Do you see that? They are stunning black marble Italian pedestals. Ugh. somewhat ready and by ready I mean I put my jewelry on I put some brows on because girl I was looking a little rough this morning okay I haven't heard back from that girl selling the marble pedestals so I'm just gonna consider that a loss unfortunately and I'm just gonna go and do my usual rounds today I have to actually um, return something at home goods because I found a book in my car that has just been sitting there and I didn't realize I already have the same book <laughs> Okay, I feel like we haven't been to Home Goods together in a while, so here I am, and I'm really looking just for like very specific pieces. I, I don't need anything, but you never know with Home Goods, you might find like a gem, or you know, I'm here in the lighting section at the moment and seeing if there's anything that I need. Um, I ordered a custom lampshade recently, and I need a base. Ooh, hmm. I kind of like that. I like the base. don't like the color, but you could always paint it black. That's kind of really chic. Okay, do you see the texture? I feel like if you do it black, it will give it like a really like high-end look. I love this one also. It's by Ralph Lauren. It really, it looks like a vessel. I would paint that black. So nice. Oh dear God, no, 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 no. Home is not where this heart resides, okay? And what is this, you guys? Please don't do this. Don't do this to me. This is my worst nightmare. Oh my gosh. Absolutely not. Oh my gosh, those lamps are so chic. Look at this stone base. It's like a small, round sphere, black metal. The shade is a little questionable, but you could always change that. I would do something like more angular to make it modern. But oh my gosh, it's by the brand Grand View Gallery. Only $39.99. They are so heavy, you guys. That's when you know they are good quality, okay? Okay, I'm sorry about this music, but wow, these are stunning. Actually, I might just get it for me. <laughs> just for like styling purposes at home. Okay.
Okay, I feel like the lamp section is really good right now. I haven't seen these many lamps that are like really chic at Home Goods in quite some time. So if you've been on the hunt for a lamp, make sure you check it out. Oh, that's I like that shade. I really like that shade. So I wish the shade of the one that I found was more like this, like more tapered. Hmm. Oh my gosh. Do you see that rug? It's a little too printed like for my style, but if you have a boho, if you're bohemian, you like that Moroccan style, it's by Safavier, 299, 8x10. Such a good price. And it's so beautiful. Like the quality is amazing. Very soft, um, like higher pile. There's also this one by Loloi. This one by Loloi is really nice. It's made in Turkey, 7x10. Cute. Okay, anything else cute in here? Oh, that's not bad, Ralph Lauren. Beautiful warm colors, okay. Ooh, if you've been looking for a marble coffee table, check your local store, it's 299. Okay, so the home goods where I'm at actually has a TJ Maxx connected to it. And I've been eyeing this Vince Shearling um, Teddy jacket. You guys know like this is my, this is my color and um, right now it's $4.99. I feel like that's still kind of like a little much for for this. So we're gonna wait because I feel like, look at the detail in the back, gorgeous. I'm almost certain this will probably go down even more. Hmm, cute. Okay, that was embarrassing. I tried on that jacket and the manager was like, oh, sir, you can't try clothes on because we're in the middle of the pandemic. And I was like, I'm so sorry. <laughs> okay, if you've been looking for dough bowls, they have a lot here at Home Goods right now. This one's $24.99, such a good deal. This is more of like a darker brown. Here's another one, they have so many. And I will say, since the holidays are coming up, they're gonna get so many coffee table books. I got my Louis Vuitton book and my AD book at Home Goods last year. So make sure you just kind of sift through what they have because they get really good books during the holidays, even Chanel books too, which is nice. Oh, hello. That's interesting. Are you guys doing holiday decor this year? Because I'm not really like that into it. Just got home. I'm going to kind of redo these lamps, see how they look with a different shade, and I will show you that in a little bit. Okay, you guys, this is what happens when Andrew goes to Petco. <laughs> He bought Marble a red hoodie, of all things. Why couldn't you get something neutral? Look at this. He I, don't, warm it's cold out. I don't think he likes it. Come on, we're gonna go on your nighttime walk. Come on. It's okay. You can do it. You can do it, little guy. You can do it. Yes, you are so cute. You're a cutie pie. All right, come on. Come on. Hey, everyone. It is the following day I just finished up with some work and I forgot to show you the lamps yesterday and I feel like I'm constantly looking for good lighting here on my channel it's just it's a very hard thing to do especially if you want to stick to a budget you know and the one that I found yesterday is so nice by the way we are here in my studio it's a complete mess a disaster but we're gonna ignore that so I'm gonna show you the ones that I got yesterday I switched out the taper but before I show you that I was actually <laughs> I was on Instagram this morning and I was ranting about plastic looking rugs and you know what I'm talking about when I say plastic it feels like a rubber mat you know when you go to the gym actually I don't go to the gym but you know those gym mats and it feels like plasticky very rubbery well, I feel like a lot of home decor accounts, especially really large accounts, are promoting those like like really plastic looking rugs. And no tea, no shade. If you have one of those, I'm not coming for you. I'm just saying that to me, I think it looks cheap and it doesn't feel luxurious. I know that you may have it because you're afraid, you know, your kids are gonna ruin your rug or your pets. And I totally get that 100%. Or maybe you wanna stick to a certain budget. I get it. However, if you go to Home Goods, you can get a higher quality rug, okay, for about the same price. I looked up these plastic rugs and they're about like 250 to 300. Girl, you can go to Home Goods and get a quality made rug for about 299. I'm just saying, I'm not coming for you if you own one of these plastic rugs. 
I'm just trying to help. Let me go show you those lamps because I still want to go antiquing. So here's the lamp that I got from Home Goods yesterday. I changed out the shade to make it look a bit more like modern and I don't know just something about it looks very designer to me I like the heavy and stone almost like concrete base and you guys know like those are the shapes that I love here in my home can you see you see how that matches let me know what you guys think I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep it yet I'm actually going to be putting it in my bedroom as like the um, console lighting. I actually wanna take you to one of my favorite antique shops today because there was a new booth that was getting set up in there the last time I was there, which was last week. So I wanna check it out. It looks like they have some really good stuff. Let's go. <laughs> Okay, we just got inside and I thought I would show you my favorite booth here in this antique shop or antique mall. And this is where I found that vintage um, Italian alabaster vessel. And you guys, it's very messy in here, but he has like really cool vintage pieces. Let me show you. I like this. Look at this like stone little bowl. I don't even know what that is, but priced at $45 okay she's a little expensive but just so many cool like stone pieces <gasps> what's that that's so interesting stone bookends Ugh. yeah so much stone pieces and I'm gonna take like a closer look to see what else he has I found that alabaster vessel like hidden down there you gotta like search for the gems you know what I mean like what's this Okay, what's that? Oh, it's like a big shell. Okay, else is around here. Like what? Oh my gosh, this is so scary. That's scary. <gasps> oh my god, no, that's so scary. Okay, this stone sculpture is so chic. Um, doesn't have a price. Oh, here we go. 125. Okay. I love that. I love the color. It's like a dark chocolate. I think it'll match the home perfectly. Hmm. Okay, everybody. I think I just found a really rare, like, glass piece. I've been following this account on Instagram. I'm going to tag her. I think her name is Giovanni, but she has the most beautiful vintage drops. And I saw this piece um, on her page recently, and it is this guy right here. Oh my gosh, do you see that? Um, wow, hold on. Let me give you a closer look. So it's a vintage handmade glass piece. It looks like it's made in Poland, but love the shape. It's so organic. And the color too is like a beigey has like almost an iridescent tone, but I'm wanting something like this for the home just to add a little bit of a different texture. A lot of the stuff that I have is matte, and I think adding something that has a little bit of a glaze will change it up a little bit. And I think it's only like $20. I have to message her, um, Giovanni, and I'm gonna see, because I don't remember what the brand is. I remember she posted it recently. Okay, so she definitely said I found a gem with this. It's called a Macarano. It's called Crosno. Anyway, we're gonna get this one. I'm still thinking about that sculpture, like the brownish one. Let me know down in the comments if I should go back for it. It's like a really heavy stone sculpture and I just, you know I love those colors and those organic shapes. Okay, so this same booth has this big glass vessel, okay? It's made in Italy, we love that. And the color is just impeccable. I love those warm tones, hmm. $24. Oh my gosh, are you kidding? And the quality is insane, you guys. Wow. So this is the booth where I got my Benny Linden chairs, and they always have, like, the coolest stuff. Like, look at these faux tusks. They're kind of insane. Um, lots of really cool vintage glass pieces. Look at that one. They have this marble lamp, which is so chic. Not this. That's too frilly. However, the base is kind of cool. They also have this marble triple pedestal. Really chic, it's not for sale, unfortunately. Oh, that's a cool vintage lamp. $50, okay. Ooh, African mask, hello, how are you? 
Look at these insane mid-century modern lamps. Look at that. It looks like it looks like it could be like in some sort of like space movie. <laughs> and look at these look like lollipops. Cute. That's gorgeous, isn't it? I don't know why I'm like gravitating towards glass vessels. Look at that fluted detail and the detail up top. That's stunning. It's for $28. Just love the color tone. Okay, everybody, I just got home. I did pick up that hand-blown glass vintage mid-century modern piece. I messaged um, Giovanni. I hope I'm saying her name right. She definitely confirmed that this is like such a rare and beautiful find. It's the shape that gets me, you guys. The shape, the color, the details. Do you see that? <gasps> oh my gosh. Let me see if it's focusing. Okay, do you see that? It's insane and it matches all of the colors I have here in my home. I'm not sure where I'm gonna put her yet, but she was only $7. Anyway, so I received a comment on my latest home tour video that my home looks too store-bought and I feel like that's why I'm starting to curate like vintage pieces. I'm not like offended or anything because that's exactly what I'm trying to not do by getting some vintage pieces. I think honing in on a design style is is one, very difficult, and two, it doesn't happen like overnight, you know? Curating these pieces takes time, it's a process, and it's that process and the hunt that I really enjoy. So if you're kind of in the same spot where you're looking around your home and you're kind of like, hmm, it looks like a Target in here, or hmm, it looks like home goods in here, which no tea, no shade, because obviously you guys know I love home goods. Anyway, I think I'm gonna end the vlog here. I'm gonna go spend time with Marble. I just taught him how to sit this morning, so I'm very proud of that. Anyway, you guys, thank you so much for watching. That is it for me today. Make sure you sound off on the comments down below if you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and I'll see you in my next video. Bye everyone.